Hi everybody, welcome and a very happy new year to you. The new year starting out with eclipses and on the 5th, 6th January we've got a solar eclipse happening at 15 degrees and 25 minutes of Capricorn. Now there is a lot of Capricorn energy in the heavens. Five planets are in Capricorn four of which, Sun, Moon, Saturn and Pluto, are really quite close together. So it's going to be very important at this time, if you can find it in your chart, where Capricorn is. I know many of you will be Capricorns who are watching, but nonetheless, somewhere in your chart, whether you're a Capricorn or not, you have got Capricorn energy. And that indicates a life area. Because Capricorn is going to be very strongly aspected for this next year and a half, certainly till the middle of 2020. This is the beginning, if you like, of a real emphasis upon the energy of Capricorn. So, for example, you might have Capricorn in your second house of money, your self-esteem, your talents. So this will be an opportunity during this time to reorganize, to restructure the way you deal with money, your income, your expenses, the way you maybe develop your talents. Maybe it's in your seventh house of relationships, an opportunity for restructuring relationships, an opportunity to maybe get into a very serious relationship because Capricorn, Saturn is in Capricorn. So this is adding to this energy of Capricorn. Capricorn has everything to do with our governments, our systems, big corporation, big organizations, how we structure our world, how we structure the internet, the rules, the regulations, are things being done with honesty, with integrity. All these are going to be very big issues as we build up to the Saturn-Pluto conjunction on January the 12th of 2020. So I see this as a particularly significant eclipse. It's super important for our planet as a whole, how we decide to organize ourselves, nation states, immigration, how we run our health services, our education, social change. It's all up for grabs, but the Capricorn energy means that we've got to be honest. We've got to look at all the things we might not want to look at. So for example, I can share with you that for me, Capricorn falls in my sixth house. And the sixth house has to do with health and work and service to others. And for me, I've had quite a few things I've had to deal with in terms of my health. And sixth house Capricorn has to do very often with the teeth and the bones. And I've had all kinds of things with teeth. And you may find that you've been avoiding something. Yeah, you, know, you knew something wasn't quite right. And I knew something wasn't right with my implant. I had an implant done almost four years ago and um, I knew something was swelling, I knew something wasn't all right. I saw various dentists and they all said, oh, it's perfectly fine, everything's all right, don't worry about it. And it niggled. And this satin energy in my sixth house pushed me, if you like, to face the unpleasantness and to push a jaw surgeon to take a, a closer look and he did find, in fact, that that implant was misplaced, wasn't even fully in the bone, and uh, it was infected and needed to be removed. Now, it was not a pleasant surgery, but now it's out of my body. I feel so much better. So sometimes with this Capricorn energy, with it being an eclipse, and with there being another eclipse in Capricorn in July, and another one December 25th, 26th, of 2019, you are going to get an opportunity to make transformative changes 
especially in the area where you find actually both Cancer and Capricorn because the signs work in pairs so Cancer has everything to do with nurturing, gentleness, softness Capricorn the more male energy of being out there of sorting things out of being responsible and earning a living and doing the things that are important in this world so maybe you feel it's important to go and plant some trees to deal with our earth this is an earth conglomeration this year again this energy of getting down to earth and at the same time we've got a sextile to neptune in pisces here which softens the energy somewhat everything in capricorn can be quite harsh one could even be reminded of nazi regimes certain regimes where people lost their heart that they just obeyed orders so there's going to be this interplay between that which is the female the softer energy and the male the more out there energy the introvert the extrovert the solar the lunar the play of these contrasts is going to be really evident and it's going to be important to clean your act up so if you know something needs to be done don't procrastinate anymore because chances are these guys are going to catch up with you so you might as well do it proactively than have something appear later on when your intuition told you far earlier that something needed to be done so it's an opportunity with the neptune energy for manifesting your dreams by taking concrete actions capricorn so the dream the neptune and the actions capricorn we've got no air in the uh, astrology at the time of this eclipse no air gives you an opportunity to reach beyond your mental boundaries the mental chat chit chat have you done this didn't you do that you should have done that you could have done that you're not good enough to go beyond that yes you might allow it to be there but no air enables you to do some great breakthroughs with becoming aware of when your mind is blocking you from manifesting the things that you want in your life you know those old repetitive patterns round and round in your head that hold you back from really opening up to what life has to offer for you well that was a big party piece i didn't expect that i had so much to say i've been meditating about it because this energy is repeating itself that's why i wanted to speak about it specifically i will do a, um, a video as well about the eclipses coming up this year uh, because i think they are very significant and important on a personal level and a global level and i have done paintings two small ones but i was encouraged to paint one with my left hand and one with my right hand for balance see where you need to create more balance in your life are you being too introverted are you being too out there and not taking enough time for peaceful time where can you bring more balance and i have to say it's not easy for me to keep remembering to use that left side i have to keep being aware of it so i hope you've enjoyed this video i thank you for any feedback comments questions and i wish you a wonderful new moon solar eclipse in capricorn bye for now